Okay, this is a short video on how to marry Owlbear Rodeo and uh, two minute tabletop maps, uh, which offers some free uh, resources if you wish, and also you're welcome to purchase them. So here's two minute tabletop, and it's got some great stuff here. So uh, some of it's free, some of it you can pay what you want, uh, others come in packages, but I'll just show you a free one here to take a look. So let's go back over to Owlbear Rodeo and I will choose to start a game. I'm not going to bother with the password, I never do. And here you go. So it starts off with a blank uh, screen. If I click over here, I look at the default maps, but I can also add one. So I hit the plus button. I've already downloaded this one from Two Minute Tabletop, and it's a free one. Upload it. And what you'll notice when you look to edit this is when you click it, you get this little pencil mark. Click that, and you can take a look. Owlbear Rodeo does its best to try and make the grids work. So it's got 44 columns for 32 rows. This roughly looked to me to be a four by three ratio, so that looks close. I don't want to snap to grid, so I'll turn that off. I don't want my icons being locked as I try to move them around. And you can also play around with this, allow others to edit part. So I can allow them to edit drawings, tokens, notes, whatever I want, but not the fog. So I kind of like this the way it is. I don't mind my players moving tokens around as they need to. I click Save. Now I will select that and there we go. There is my battle map. So I can check for scale by bringing some of these tokens over. So there's a default one for a barbarian and maybe I'll bring an archer and have them sitting over here by a fire and I can zoom in a bit and take a look. So I'll grab my measuring tool, which is this little triangle piece over here, the measuring tool, and I can select from there to there and see that's about 10 feet apart, which is good. The width of these little people are about five feet, so that's close. So say, for example, I wanted to hide or have a goblin maybe over on the other side of the stream near this bush, I could let the player know that that goblin is about 40 feet away. So there you have it. That is a quick way to bring a battle map in, and you can make your own or download them from other uh, websites, but hopefully that helps.